The WIPO Diplomatic Conference for Visually Impaired Persons concluded on June 28, 2013 with congratulations from recording legend Stevie Wonder to negotiators for a job well done and a call for quick ratification of the treaty. Today we are all brothers and sisters in the struggle to make this life in the future better, not for one, but for all. It is humbling to know when the weakest among us is in need, you answer the call with a steely determination and a steadfast courage to make a difference. To the 300 million who are visually disabled, this new treaty is a major step towards access to the basics, such as works and formats such as Braille, electronic Braille, large print text, audio books, and speech. The first, the thirst and famine for books is coming to an end. While the signing of this treaty is a historic and important step, I'm respectfully and urgently asking all governments and states to prioritize ratification of this treaty so that it will become the law of the land in your respective states and countries. The agreement will facilitate access to published works for persons who are blind, visually impaired, or otherwise print disabled. Some 600 delegates from WIPO's 186 member states took part in the negotiations leading to the adoption of the treaty. 51 countries signed the agreement, a strong indication of intent by the signatory to join the treaty, which enters into force once it has received 20 ratifications. WIPO Director General praised the engagement of member states and called for a quick ratification of the treaty. There's no doubt that another condition of success is the commitment and, and engagement of the member states. The treaty is but a first step in addressing the problem that we set out to solve. It provides the, the um, enabling framework, but that now needs to be operationalized. Uh, and that process commences with the signature this morning of the treaty. It continues with ratification and with the development of practical systems for moving works in accessible formats around the world to needy beneficiaries. I can assure you of the commitment of the staff of WIPO to put into effect the, the political will that has been so eloquently expressed by the member states in the terms of the treaty that has just been adopted. Morocco's Minister of Communications, Mustafa Khalfi, who presided over the diplomatic conference, World Blind Union President Marianne Diamond, and International Publishers Association President Y.S. Chi also welcomed the outcome of the diplomatic conference.